Hey, happy Monday, my lights. How are my loves, my my family? Um, getting ready to start this reading for you and see what spirit has for you today. All right, let's get started. Guys, uh, while I'm laying out these cards, I just want to tell you all how much I love you and appreciate you, okay? Everyone on the site is so kind and so uh, good and helping others. And, you know, like I brought up with the prayer, I don't know, uh, you. some of you are actually, you know, helping others. Um, I told anybody that needs prayer, since we're almost um, at 12,000 subs on the site, that's a lot of prayer. So anyone needing prayer, please post it on the site. And anybody who, who notices it or sees it, please um, send out prayer for people needing prayer right now. There's a lot of people who need it. All right, guys, I'm seeing something here regarding things that are going on um, that you are unaware of. All right, I'm seeing something coming though. There's something coming. Um, in the meantime, whatever this is, it has something to do with a new start for you guys. Because right now, you, a lot of you are having a tower moment and feeling left out in the cold, okay? So things, um, you know, like I told you guys, we already turned the corner. And you do have some positive things, lots of positive things coming from the cycle. I want you guys to keep, stay focused on that. As soon as one positive thing happens, no matter how small it is, I want you to notice it and focus in on just that as best as you can. All right. And here I'm seeing this new start, like I mentioned, and you know, that's not fun, that tower moment. Okay. So let's see what else. Um, we can see here. <clears throat> All right, I'm picking up on a feminine, okay? Um, somebody, this is, a, this is potential love here. Somebody wants to come in and give to you. Um... Okay, so I'm speaking to a feminine. You're feeling ignored right now, but there's actually somebody who wants to come in. All right, you may not be aware of it. You may not know how this person feels about you. All right, but right now, this is about love. And I'm seeing there's something here regarding spirit, spirit being in the mix. Let's see if we can get more info on this. Okay, so I am speaking to a feminine um, in regards to you and this person who has feelings for you. Okay, it looks like it looks like you're maybe not wanting this person to come in. You're closed up, so you're not. You're you're sending out your aura is saying closed. I'm not open for business here. I don't want a relationship. I don't want to start anything up. All right. And the reason is you, something happened, um, to you, the last person you were with, maybe a third party or someone you were with brought in this third party. And this really hurt you and made you, um, yeah, you're, you're basically fearful of getting in a relationship. You don't want to be hurt again. You don't want to go through this again. This is making you feel stuck though in life. Um, it's making you, uh, you're bringing this into every facet of your life and you don't know it. Okay. Because you're going through life feeling defensive. So, you know, food for thought, maybe you could just purge that out and know that not every, uh, person is alike everybody's different there's good people out there there's good feminines there's good masculines and everyone has to be treated accordingly and i have to tell you guys even though you probably don't like hearing this we choose we choose the people that we bring into our lives and you know that is why we have to use discernment and use our intuition and take our time okay um somebody Somebody that uh, I really like that I do readings for, 
um, keeps picking people that are low vibrating, okay, and keeps going through, you know, breakup after breakup after breakup. Guys, this isn't necessary, okay? If you would just take your time, you know, the whole trick is you have to love yourself and not feel like you need somebody there 24-7. You don't need to have somebody in your life. Um, when you're between relationships, focus on you. Focus on self-love and self-nurturement, okay? And know that you're not going to be alone forever unless you choose to be, okay? So, you know, during these times, just put yourself on a pedestal, adore yourself, love yourself, give yourself all the, the, the things that you would be giving somebody else that you were madly in love with. Um, treasure yourself, be kind to yourself, okay? And when you meet somebody, take your time. And when you feel good about you, you're not going to be in a rush. You're going to know that you have value and you are going to make sure that the person you're choosing is going to see the value in you and is going to treat you accordingly. Okay. Make sense. All right. But I'm seeing this feminine has one foot in and one foot out the door regarding something. Okay. Um, I am seeing happiness and I'm seeing other doors opening for you. Uh, I'm seeing a victory coming in for you. Okay. So I really don't know it. Maybe this is resonating with a feminine out there. I don't know what the rest of the story is with that, except, um, that you might be single right now. I am seeing something coming in for you, something really big, actually, okay, you're, you've moved away, you're moving away from the negativity, and you are going through a, a, a good amount of pain right now, okay, because you're doing that, but you're like dragging yourself away from the negativity, because you had an epiphany that this is what's causing all your unhappiness in your life, and you're, you know, again, you know, talking about choosing, we have choices, we choose the people, and we also choose to stay or go. So guys, you know, we're, we're in these shitty relationships. Okay. And we're pointing fingers at other people that we're with. They did this to me. They did that. They're no good, but you're picking them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm not trying to sound like I'm blaming you. I'm just trying to make you open up and see that, you can create your own happiness. You are the driver of your ship, okay? And we have to get out of this habit of pointing fingers and blaming other people, all right? It takes two to tango, as they say. You're going to get this mental clarity at any, at any rate here about this uh, prosperity coming in, all right? This is, this is somebody who's single. I'm seeing like this whirlwind of cash coming in. You're going to be seeing it. You're going to realize that, hey, it's here, okay? You're going to get clarity on this, whether it's, you know, you're going to hear about it or it's just going to start coming in for you. And the reason that this prosperity and abundance is going to hit for you is because you're moving away from the negativity and you are raising your vibration, okay? So let's go a step further here, all right? Something... Um, all right, there's something somebody wanted and it didn't work out. You haven't gotten it yet and it's making you feel defensive. A matter of fact, instead of this situation working out for you, this this thing that or person that you wanted, it ended and it had something to do with this page over here, this page of wands, okay? So I want to say that it definitely had something to do with a person, all right? But again, I am seeing this Knight of Pentacles over here. Now, this is a material offer. So something that you did want is going to come in for you. It's just not going to be this Page of Wands. Not now. Okay. So, but you can, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You can expect this Knight of Pentacles to come in. Um, and this seems like a financial offer and it's a work thing. All right. Here it is. It's work. Um... Right now, you're feeling like you're holding on to your money possessively. Maybe you're feeling insecure about, you know, how much you're making. It's it's not enough, guys. And the reason you're feeling this way is the dollar, last I checked, was worth 13 cents. Okay, so all that value went out of your dollar. 
So where your dollar used to be worth a dollar when you bought food at the store, now it's like you're giving, you're getting 13 cents worth instead of a dollar's worth. So that's why you're feeling like this, okay? And you're having to work more and, you know, you're really feeling it. But, you know, I'm telling you something big is about to change. Yesterday in my video, I told you guys I had this uh, feeling. It, it was super strong. It was um, very intense that something big was going to happen yesterday. And at 1130 something, I received notification on my phone that a certain someone uh, was, it was a done deal, okay? The peachy thing, okay? I have to speak in codes, you guys, I'm sorry, but it's just the way it is, okay? So you know the word something peached, you know, that, okay? It's done, it's done. So I turn the TV on this morning and I see nothing, which is, you know, par for the course. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is the world we live in today. It's, it's, it's like, uh, I, I'm telling you guys, I feel like I woke up one day and somebody had dropped me on a different planet and everything has changed. Everything's weird. Everything's not making sense. Okay. You guys are living it. So, you know, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a done deal. So whether they're waiting for something, a certain time to announce or, um, you know, whatever it may be. Um, and, and anybody could see this, this, uh, video that was sent to me. It was, um, Lauren Bobert, I think her name is, she's a, a representative of Congress and she announced it in Congress in a video and it was sent to telegram. It was sent to my telegram. So yeah. Um, I don't know. So maybe we're going to be hearing about this later on in the day, but this is huge guys. This is huge. And this is going to be, this is the, the start of the end. Okay. Uh, what we're all waiting for, but here I'm seeing spirit is in the middle. You guys are working hard. You know, there's just not enough money and spirit is doing something. Okay. Um, you know, we have all this spiritual energy going on around us, all this movement. Um, and yet, you know, we're waiting and waiting. We're sad. We're waiting for something huge to open up here. Uh, spirit is committed to giving us what we need. However, let's finish up here and see when is spirit going to give everybody what they need or what is happening here. All right. I'm seeing a manifestation all right, now, this looks, this looks like, a, this is a Knight of Cups here. This is a masculine who is uh, trying to manifest a partner. You're manifesting a partner, as a matter of fact, but it's taking a while. It's taking a long time, and you're like, you know, why isn't this happening for me? Okay, um. They're saying the stability is coming in for you first. Um, so expect that. Try to manifest that first. Um, I don't know why that is going to be first before you're going to be receiving love in your life. This is for a masculine out there. All right. But okay. So right now you're needing a lot of healing and they don't want to, they don't want to confuse or bring in something that's going to cloud this or change this in any way, okay? The person I was just speaking to, the masculine, you obviously need a lot of healing. You're getting that healing. They want you to be strong. You're, you're defensive right now. You're going through your life feeling angry and defensive, okay? Regarding somebody else from your past, this feminine, okay? Something happened and you haven't been able to resolve these emotions yet, maybe because this is sort of new, sort of fresh, so as far as love, the message for you is your financial situation is going to improve first. And you are also in the midst of getting this very strong healing. Okay. Um, I'm seeing. All right. So I'm seeing this um, offer coming in. I have a knight of wands. I have an ending here. Okay. Um, 
yeah, this is uh, someone's relationship ended, okay? Um, you're looking at this empress, though, like she's the star. She was your star, so I'm assuming that she's the one who ended the relationship. And maybe this is more uh, telling for this masculine I'm talking to for your situation. All right, they're saying not to worry. Another offer is going to come in for you. Nice. All right, guys, and here I'm seeing the emperor, okay? Now, this is something this emperor wants. Um, it's financial, and spirit is saying that the opportunity is now here, okay? it's We're on the cusp. You're on the cusp of getting this thing that you want, okay? The emperor is just a, a masculine, a very knowing um, intelligent masculine who's been around the block a few times, um, very, um, a positive kind of energy, protective kind of energy and, um, wealth and prosperity coming in. This is, this is what this emperor has been wanting and this opportunity is here. Okay. Um, it's not here right this second. So you're feeling stuck. But Spirit is saying you're very close to this, okay? And this is also doors opening for you. And let's continue to go further. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> There's a decision being made right now. All right. Someone is just at their wit's end. You're looking out into the world. You're, you're asking. You're praying. You're praying. You're so burnt out here carrying these burdens and all the confusion, life's confusion, things going on in your life. And you're looking out into the world, you know, waiting and wanting uh, things to happen for you. And there's decisions to be made here regarding your stability. Um, and that is first and foremost, you have to make a decision on something that is going to make a difference for you with your finances here. I'm seeing your cycle guys and a lot of, um, awesomeness actually here. Okay. Awesomeness. I'm seeing celebration. I'm seeing this bounty overhead. I'm seeing this beautiful home in the background. This is abundance, happiness, and celebration in the center you have the ace of wands guys if you have any questions um you know i can give you a reading you can do a reading if you have questions about a relationship finances something going on at your job um you know do a 20 minute reading if it's affordable uh i'd love to do it for you here is the ace of wands telling you that this abundance okay coming from your cycle is going to have your cup overflowing with joy and happiness, okay? You've been waiting a long time. So for those of my aquas that are waiting and waiting for some some kind of break, some kind of happiness, okay? You're going to see this miraculous break. You're going to get this huge break, okay? Because this is all huge here. This is a lot of celebration. This is confirming the celebration and that it's going to grow. It's just going to get more and more intense. It's going to grow. Things are coming that you won't be able to wrap your head around. Your joy and happiness will be overflowing, um, <clears throat> you know, on steroids pretty much. All right, guys, I'm going to end the reading right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know we keep talking about, you know, the same cards keep coming up, guys, and there's a reason for that, okay? And I, I know that, you know, I don't, I, I can't help but sound redundant here. Something is going to happen. We're on the cusp of something huge, and until it happens, you know, there it is in your face. It's spirit telling you the same thing almost on the daily. It's coming, it's coming, and I feel that we're closer and closer to it, okay? I'm very intuitive. Those of you who are on my channel, those of you who've done readings with me know I am extremely intuitive. Normally, when I do a reading, I'm pretty much on point. Um, you know, usually will resonate with the people I'm doing the readings for. And I just want you to know that the cards are the cards. It, you know, what I'm getting, I'm giving to you. So that's the reading, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you all. Take care.